Hey guys, Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale. Uh, before we get into the update news that dropped just a moment ago here in Clash Royale, uh, I wanted to follow up on uh, the video that we released a couple days ago, remembering uh, my friend, a lot of your favorite guests here on the channel, and just an amazing overall person. It is Justice Von Eitzen, aka Flobby. Uh, we are going to go ahead, or I just wanted to show you and follow up on that video uh, that we did go ahead and make a donation to the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention. Uh, granted, obviously, uh, Flobby was German, but uh, we did make, I'll show you, I, I donated 150. We did make 115 so far off of that video. So I just wanted to show you again that the proceeds are going to a great cause. And I also wanted to invite you guys, if you uh, have any spare uh, money at all, to donate to a great cause in his memory to go ahead and uh, do so. I'll have that link for you guys in the show notes below, along with a link to all the suicide hotline numbers out there for the majority of countries out there in the world, at least based on my demographics. So it should pertain to most of the viewers here on the channel. Uh, now let's go ahead and uh, jump in. No easy transition. Of course, uh, shared a lot of my feelings uh, on, on, on Flobby and a lot of my memories and linked some of my old videos with him in my previous video, but I did want to follow up there. We're, we're going to miss him, uh, obviously, tremendously, uh, and my heart goes out to his friends, his teammates, his family as well. Uh, today, again, no easy transition to Clash Royale, but I did want to follow up, and I think that it's sometimes taboo to talk about painful things like like losing friends and loved ones but I think it's important to continue to talk about them as well you know I don't think it's it's unnatural for me to ever just just as a person everybody's different the way that they grieve the way that they deal with hardship in their lives but it's unnatural for me to just put out a video like I did last time and then be like okay update guys you know uh just don't want to talk about them still on my mind you know and I know that's probably the same for a lot of you guys out there so on to the Clash Royale portion of the video guys we have the update preview this dropped literally about 10 minutes ago from this recording here on Friday at 11 30 timestamp eastern time a.m update preview season tokens and more events 2.0 and season shop so we have all the information regarding uh season tokens Tokens, the season shop, how many tokens you will get, what's your daily cap, all that stuff. Can't wait to hear from you guys on this one. I'm just going to come out. Usually I reserve my opinion till the end of these videos, but I'm going to come out and say it. I am generally a big fan of this entire revamp. Uh, I, I think it's, you know, th there's, of course, there's always critique that can be had, uh, especially regarding the cap and, you know, how much it's going to cost potentially to boost it higher. But we'll get to that in a moment. But I think that overall here, I'm excited and really enthusiastic and, and hats off to the game team because this is a, a much needed change and it seems really, really cool. Most of all, it gives more rewards and autonomy in terms of the rewards that we choose to the individual player, which is much needed. So an update is coming at the end of the month here in March, so just a couple weeks away or sooner. The, the following is a preview of some of the new features that will be released. A uh, little inside info, this is not everything that's coming in the update, but this is the big feature of the update. Of course, the new improved a way to play the game and all that stuff is coming later on this year and that sounds like it could be one of the biggest updates in Clash Royale history. Uh, so we're given the events that also includes uh, level 15. Uh, so we're given the events tab, the place where you pay, play special challenges, a much needed makeover, introducing features that address key concerns we have heard from the Clash Royale community. Awesome. They're listening to the community. That's fantastic. Season tokens and season shop. The biggest change to events and any game mode in the events tab is a predetermined reward no longer being a thing. We heard lots of feedback about how it wasn't worth playing certain challenges for a golden chest to eight wins or a card you didn't need. And I agree with that. You know, like, I'm not going to play a challenge for a card that I don't want or don't need. Uh, to make it easier for players to get rewards they actually want, we have introduced Season Tokens. Each event that you will play will earn Season Tokens. You'll be able to spend them in, yep, you guessed it, the Season Shop. The Season Shop will have a variety of rewards to spend your Season Tokens on, such as gold, magic items, including books, wild cards, battle banners, emotes, and more. So it's going to be a nice mix of aesthetical rewards and practical rewards that will help you upgrade your cards, your deck, etc. So if you look at the Season Shop here, guys... We have a thousand season tokens, uh, reset 10 days, six hours. So that tells me it's going to be, you know, obviously the entire season reset. Uh, these prices, I'm, I'm very confused. Uh, it's 500 to buy 2000 gold. It's then a thousand to buy 2000 gold. And then it's 1500 to buy, buy 2000 gold. But then we have a cheaper 500 to buy the, uh, to buy the, the, the tokens. Uh, 
So here's our first look at the season shop here, guys. A nice interface. Uh, we have a thousand season tokens. We have 10 days, six hours. So extends the duration of the season. Uh, then we have 2000 gold, 2000 gold, 2000 gold. These have got to be just placeholders, right? Or am I really dumb? 500, 1000, 1500 uh, for the same thing. <laughs> and then we have, uh, I don't know, we have the, 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 the wild cards and those are only 500 each. Uh, they do stagger, you know, based on quantity in rarity. There are five out of five to purchase. Hey, maybe they're just going to have escalating costs at gold. And if you want to be cheap and or not cheap, but if you want to buy 10 of the 500 cost, it will just get increasingly high to buy more gold. Uh, perhaps that's just what they're going to do there. Uh, anyway, how to get season tokens. You play events. You progress through Pass Royale, including the free pass. Simple. An update for losers. Supercell, you shouldn't have. You made an update just for me? Ah, oh, you guys, always thinking of me. We wanted to make both winning and losing feel better, so we've implemented a new system to earn season tokens from events. You earn season tokens at the end of an event battle based on the following. Crown towers destroyed, crown towers defended, and elixir spent. That's very interesting. Uh, so you earn tokens through elixir spent. You can see the breakdown right here, guys. Obviously, uh, we have, uh, you know, how much you're earning per, per thing. And to me, that seems fairly reasonable. You get one per elixir spent. <laughs> That's not bad. That encourages more aggressive, aka entertaining, engaging gameplay, right? So I'm excited about that. You can earn a thousand season tokens a day by playing events, which can get you... According to this, uh, at least, it can get you a couple uh, wild cards. We don't know the price on those magic items. They're <laughs> keeping those conveniently off of the screen. That's a bummer. Uh, the daily capital can be increased with a season boost. We don't know how much a season boost costs. Uh, up to a maximum of 7,000 tokens a day. You can still continue to play events after you hit your daily cap. We also have events 2.0 and party modes. The event ta tab now contains a selection of game modes. Special challenges, 1v1 and 2v2. Endless special challenges. You can now play special challenges as much as you want while they're available. This was, uh, excuse me, this is one of the most requested changes in, uh, uh, to special challenges. No more losing three times and not being able to play the newest game mode or competing a challenge and being locked out from playing more. It also means no more paying gems to continue playing. You can earn rewards via season tokens without any downsides, not counting the random 2v2 partner that plays 10 elixir at the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? How can you complain about this? Fantastic. Party mode two, party harder. A party mode two is back. They turn it into a drinking game. I'm just joking. Uh, party, mar party mode is back from the dead, returned from its hamburger menu, exiled to an easily accessible place. That's great. Uh, now located on the events tab, you can play both through a variety of 1v1 and 2v2, or through, excuse me, a variety of 1v1 and 2v2 game modes that are rotated regularly. Even playing field, card levels, and tower uh, power are now capped at level 11 while playing events. Nice. We hope that you enjoy the changes and keep your eyes peeled for the update coming at the end of the month. You know what, guys? The above features are currently in development and may uh, differ from the final versions. Okay, that tells me that this is subject to change and this is subject to change. So, you know, TBD on that, certainly. This is great on the party mode. I was showing my son, played his first match of Clash Royale ever. March 13th, earlier this week. He actually just picked up my iPad. He's playing on my little couch over there in my, in my studio. And next thing you know, he's using my golem deck and teaching the kid well, you know, go low skill, son. Be a loser like your dad. So that was really cool. Uh, but boy, a lot of you guys gave me a lot of crap in the replies here, man. He's getting cooked. Lucas Gamer. I said, you know what? You know what that's well, you know what that's like, Lucas Lucas X Gamer, excuse me. And then this guy says, bro, can't put his kid right straight into 7K. I can't swim, not with that attitude. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, guys, uh, at least a party mode will be nice and easily accessible. And next time you have a 2v2 team teammate, excuse me, with the name Ash, who's spamming 10 elixir at the bridge, know that it could be a five-year-old on my account, and or it could be me, and I'm just using it as an excuse. Guys. Let me know what you think of these changes. Thank you so much for watching till the end of the video. And as always, take care, guys.